Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to what we hope is the first of many events in uh, St. Peter's. Um, as you probably know by now, uh, the Castledown Bear Development Association have been lucky enough to secure St. Peter's for the community, and it's currently in the process of um, going through uh, conveyance and stuff like that, and uh, we have big plans for this space in the future. As I said, hopefully this is going to be the first of many events that we will have here, and we are very proud and very honoured to be able to facilitate what I think is an absolutely stunning uh, photographic and artistic display here this evening of the faces of the people we all know and we all meet on a daily basis walking up and down the street. And they've put some thoughts on paper as well. And I would encourage everyone to take the time to read what they have to say because there are some very uh, wise and encouraging words from people who have lived through uh, many decades in the, um, in the community. Before I introduce the man responsible for this who's standing behind me, Shay Hunston, I would like you all to uh, pay a special tribute to these bunch of guys over here from the Castletown Bear Development Association. Last Tuesday night, this was a jungle. There was ivy on trees, there was grass about a foot tall, and they've transformed it into a, um, an absolutely fantastic space in a very short length of time. They've worked all during the week to create the, the, the beautiful stands there that are, um, that are, are, are holding the, the pictures. And they were painted, finished I think this morning. So everything is absolutely runs like a well-oiled machine. Uh, we're very lucky that um, Shea Hunston, the man who is responsible for this display, uh, I suppose to give you a little bit of a background, I don't know much about him, but I did read up a small little bit. Uh, most of his photo photographic career was spent uh, snapping supermodels on the catwalks of Milan and Paris. And he decided to turn to the highways and byways of the wild Atlantic Way to snap some real, <laughs> real people. People with stories and with history behind them. So without further ado, I'm gonna hand you over to Shay to say a few words and give him a big round of applause. Uh, first of all, thanks to everybody for coming here uh, this evening. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody from Castletown Bear for all their help and assistance during my time in the town, especially those that took part in the exhibition and the members of the Castletown Bear Development Association for organizing the photo shoots and for putting the, this exhibition together. Uh, their names are Keen Murphy. Alice Harrison, Andrea Lottie, Selena Sheehan, Christina Saradakis, Darren Lynch, Grace Delaney, Joanne Kelly, John Galvin, Kieran Murphy, Killian Martin Sullivan, Mark Golden, Noel Ford, Rosalind Williams, Siobhan Murphy, uh, Victoria Jashanti. If I get that right, I think I got that terribly wrong, I apologise. Um, so I'd also like to thank uh, Super Value and Celtic Sea Minerals for their very kind sponsorship of this exhibition. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the two marks from the Vera Coast Hotel for kindly providing the venue for taking the photographs. I would like to thank Dorothy Brophy from the library for putting me in touch with Keane Murphy and getting the ball rolling. Um, this exhibition is part of a photography project called The People of the Wild Atlantic Way. Uh, I'm following the route of the Wild Atlantic Way from Kinsale to Donegal, taking black and white portrait photographs of the people living in the towns, villages and remote locations among the stunning beauty of this diverse and ancient landscape set against the vastness of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, upon completion of the project, a book of photographs will be produced and all the proceeds will be donated to the RNLI. I will also produce a draft book 
of photographs taken of on the tree peninsulas, Berra, Sheep's Head, Mizzen and Bantry. This can be used to promote the region of Northwest Cork as a tourist destination. Uh, the project is a celebration of the people of the west coast of Ireland. Your kindness, generosity of spirit and willingness to help has been overwhelming at times. When I started this project last summer in Kinsale, I thought I'd only be in West Cork for three months, but here I am still in West Cork nearly a year later, unable to leave this beautiful place. Um, the scenery is indeed beautiful, but it's the people who are the real gems. This exhibition is a celebration of the wonderful people of Castletown Bear, an open-minded, independent, welcoming, tolerant people with a great community spirit, a people free in spirit and wild at heart. I have included with the photographs a brief snapshot of the people's thoughts, life experiences and sense of place. From talking to the people of Castletown Bear, what comes across so strongly is your deep connection and commitment to the sea. Um, living out here on the Barra Peninsula on the edge of the world with its big skies and the sea and light constantly changing. I suppose in the beginning we all came from the sea and you have in your veins the exact same percentage of salt in your blood that exists in the ocean and therefore you have salt in your blood and your sweat and your tears. You are tied to the ocean and when you go back to the sea, whether it is to fish, to sail, <clears throat> or to watch it, you are going back from whence you came, back to the place that is woven into the fibre of your beings, into your hearts, into your souls, a place that you are at home in, a place that is constantly part of you. Thank you again to everybody for coming here tonight, and last, lastly, and I would like to thank again Keen Murphy and, and all the people of the Castletown Bear Development Associate, Association for making it all happen. Thank you very much. Hi Shay, um, I, I think you'd all agree that the works, uh, they're, they're works of art, uh, the fabulous photographs and uh, the, the end result speaks for itself. Now the really good thing is that <laughs> no, this exhibition is going to run until the end of August. So what I would do and ask you to do is to encourage your friends family, visitors, anybody that comes to Castletown Bay or anybody that's even thinking about it, to make the trip here and make sure they come in and visit this exhibition because it is absolutely fantastic. And again, I'd like to ask you to put your hands together for the Development Association for all the work they did and for Shea for the fantastic exhibition here. There's some cheese, wine, crackers, soft drinks. I'd ask you all to partake and enjoy yourselves, listen to the music and look at the artwork. Thank you. <laughs>